Hi everybody, welcome to Speedway Motors. My name's Tim, I'm one of the techs here. I'm always glad you can join us. Today I wanted to talk about something I'm kind of passionate about lately just because I'm working on one, and that's an old Ford Banjo rear end. You can probably see some parts behind me here if you can ignore the old quick change casting there. I've got a conversion kit here for an open drive uh, conversion on a Banjo rear end, and this is a kit that we sell a bunch of and it works great. We'll talk about that a little bit more uh, here in just a second. Uh, as far as old Ford Banjo rear ends go, uh, they work great, they look the part. There are some important considerations though whenever you run an old Ford Banjo, and many of you out there listening to this video probably are. Uh, the thing about old Ford Banjo rear ends, you know, they were kind of the rear end of choice back in the early days for anything, a hot rod or a race car, uh, but you know, over the years obviously better parts came out. The Ford 9 inch is kind of hard to beat, but uh, back in the the early days guys used them all the time. The thing to think about with a Ford Banjo is they just don't take a lot of today's modern horsepower. Luckily for me in my Model A Roadster I'm, I'm running a pretty low horse uh, 241 Red Ram motor out of a Dodge and uh, I don't think I'm going to have any issues so long as I don't get crazy. The other thing to consider is if you're using a modern transmission uh, you got to kind of think about you know converting it over to an open drive. Uh, you know it's kind of hard to retain that closed uh, torque tube uh, type scenario if you're using a modern transmission and that's the reason I decided to run with this uh, conversion kit that I have behind me. The other thing about old Ford Banjos I'd tell you is you know when you're working on them if you have to take them apart and put them back together. Uh, the bell bolts that go uh, into the center section you know, retain those original bolts. A lot of guys when they take their rear ends apart they want to chase the threads in those, uh, in those uh, banjo portions of the rear end and the problem with doing that is they, they kind of had a special thread right from the Ford factory that if you tamper with it you're going to have leaks all over the place. So you know clean them out real good with some cleaner but, but don't mess around chasing them or, or anything like that. That's just a tip that some fellas have told me about the those. We sell a great little retaining clip that you can use. Obviously axle breakage is another issue with old Ford Banjos. You know, if you put too much power to them, they can shear the hub keys. Uh, that's pretty common. Or you can actually break the axle itself. Uh, and the problem with that is your wheel will go flying down the road. And obviously that's not a scenario any of us want. So uh, there are some great hub retaining clips that we sell here at Speedway to kind of help you uh, avoid that issue. If something breaks, it keeps everything all together, which is super cool. As far as far as this conversion kit goes, uh, when I got my rear end home, it was out of a 41 Ford sedan. I got it from a buddy of mine. It was pretty low mileage, so I wasn't going to tamper with it much. I was just going to clean it up, redo the brakes, and I'm going to run the thing. But I did have to switch it over to an open drive line because I'm running a T5 transmission. I wanted the overdrive for heading down the highway, so I need to convert it over to a traditional kind of drive shaft situation. So I bought this kit and this is a really cool kit. We offer it in three uh, versions. We've got it uh, milled for a Model A uh, banjo rear end. Then we got the sp six spline here which I'm holding in my hand which is perfect for my little 41 Ford. But we also have a 10 spline too. So if you're looking at this conversion, double check your rear end. Make sure you get the right one for, for what you're installing it on. These are really well machined, nice pieces. I had one of my techs here at Speedway walk by this. It was sitting on my desk and he's a he was an ex-teacher for General Motors and he looked at this thing he said, boy, he said, this is nice. This is uh, better than a lot of stuff that comes right out of the GM or Ford factory. And, and uh, that, that felt good to hear because I've been selling this to guys for many, many years and I never hear about problems. So that's a good thing. Uh, one of the cool things about this is it's really easy to install. When I got my original Ford rear end home, it was hooked to the torque tube and it had the wishbones on it and I had to uh, take it all apart. And what a learning experience that was. I, I took the, uh, the torque tube off and I saw the, the closed drive shaft hooked to the rear end and it uses a little bit of a coupler to hold the two pieces together. Well that coupler has pins that are driven through it to hold it all together and those pins are mushroomed. I thought, hey no problem, I'll just grind the top of that little mushroom section off and drive it through no dice. It didn't work. It wasn't that easy. I actually uh, learned that those are severely mushroomed pins, so I had to use a drill and drill out uh, that pin uh, enough that I could actually push it through. You have to be kind of careful drilling that you don't drill into the spline portion of your pinion on your rear end, so be kind of careful with that. This new version uses a pin that's tapered, which is pretty slick. You uh, put your, uh, your yoke on and you basically drive this through to connect it to your rear end and then it has two little set screws that kind of finish the job. Uh, these tighten down and, and keep that pin from going anywhere. 
Again, uh, this is an all-inclusive kit. It comes with the gasket, uh, comes with all the bolts that you need. These are just a nice bolt with a lock washer. You can use your original Ford bolts too. Uh, the nice thing about the Ford bolts were if you want it to look cool, they still have the hole drilled for safety wire, so you can run your safety wire through those, which is kind of cool. Uh, the other thing that this kit comes with uh, is a vent and you know this vent is very important when you make this conversion over uh, you'll want to be able to vent the crank the pressure inside the rear end itself so you know like me I don't want to tear my rear end all apart to install this vent there are a couple options I've heard of guys using what they call a hollow bolt on one of the bells that works pretty well but it has you know some guys have told me mixed results so we don't actually sell the hollow bolt here at Speedway instead we recommend you do a, a typical vent uh, this one is is ready to go you just have to drill out your case so I had to do mine very carefully because I didn't want to take my rear end apart I also didn't want shavings inside my rear end housing so I uh, drilled it carefully with what they call a magnetic drill bit and I used uh, I kind of drilled it upside down to try to make a scenario where none of the shavings fell into the to the housing and then I cleaned it out really well after that to make sure uh, through both the drain holes that none of the uh, shavings got inside and, and tore things up so it's a really great kit. Like I say, I've sold a bunch of these over the years, and I wanted to bring one out today just so you could see how well they're machined, what a nice piece they are. If you have any questions about old Ford drive lines, especially banjo rear ends or quick changes, of course, that's always on my Christmas list. We're here to help. We have a lot of guys here that have used them, myself included, so uh, you know, hopefully we can walk you through whatever issues you're having so we can get another old Ford part out on the road. So thanks for joining us today. Really appreciate it, and have a great time working on your old Ford.